Alright, I just didn't realize I had my camera off all this time, but at least my audio came through with it as well, right? Not that the camera helps or anything like that, but it's a, um, so <clears throat> we just finished up the footer with it. So I'm going to close out of the footer with it. Um, the next one I want to pull up is just, let's do some easy pages with it before we get to the menu with it as well. So the next easy one is the about, uh, not JS, about JavaScript with it. So in here, I'm going to bring in some images with it, some, uh, and then we're going to actually have you um, copy over some content of text and uh, another website with it. As it, what, what I call is the lorem imsimbum uh, type of font. It's you know, uh, it's a placeholder font with it until you find content to fill in with it as well. And this is a very useful resource you could use with it. Again, uh, let's do import. You got import React um, with it, and from React is is the file. Uh, we're going to import in. The next one is going to be the import uh, multiple. Uh, let's call this thing multiple multiple pizza. How's that? Multiple multiple pizza. Like I have it here. Pizzas. From, make sure you have that same spelling I have with it. Multi pool pizza. Okay, so it's multiple pizza like I have spelling right here with it. <clears throat> How do you go from about us? I'm sorry, not about us. About that JS, this file to the file that's called multiple pizza right here, JPEG, right? <laughs> Again, you have to come to the parent directory using the dot dot forward slash. It drops down the the the, the asset uh, directory where that's contained, and then you do a forward slash and you type in the exact names, the exact same spelling, multiple pizza, uh, multiple pizza, uppercase it with it and singular.jpg. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Make sure you have the same spelling. Uh, compare this right here to this right here. All right, uh, multiple pizzas with it. So, okay. Uh, <clears throat> let's link, uh, we need to pull in the import, the CSS with it as well. So dot dot, uh, it goes to the styles, uh, changing that to the styles. And the styles is going to connect to the, this is about dot CSS, okay, semicolon. Now, inside of this, we're going to, again, let me just write the function. And you should be comfortable with naming the function because it needs to be the same name as the file, right? Just hit tab, give it left and right parentheses. I, I need for you to know the syntax, folks. Here, and then you do return, right? return and in this return still semicolon come down hit semicolon on this one let me go ahead and do in the export statement before I forget all this stuff with it if I wait too long uh, at the end I might forget it so so let me come down here inside of this export uh, default and the name of the, uh, the, 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 the component is about All right and semicolon. All right, let's come inside of this right now. So we have a little squiggly line here. Don't worry about it right now because it's looking for things to return. You don't have anything to return right now with as well. Let's come in and we're going to actually return in is the div and we'll give it a class name. Tab and we'll call this thing about, right? So this about, I'm going to close off this tag. It closes off the div. I hit enter and I'm going to nest in another uh, about to the top. So we're going to format uh, some images right now with it, right? So let me tab in and do a div with it. And then we're going to do a class name tab this time. Let's call this thing uh, about top, uppercase the T for me, all right? That's the class name. All this is going to refer back to your CSS the way how it's going to link everything to it as well. Uh, I'm running out of space here. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to come just indent in a space or keep it the same line, doesn't matter. I'm going to call this, remember this style, uh, equal, and then you're going to nest in to, there you go, and then it goes space, background, right, background image, remember that? Background image, right, apostrophe URL, right, and then you're going to do, if you hit two of them at the same time with it, well, let me do one of them. Uh, you're going to nest in a dollar sign. That's the syntax. And the curly brackets with it. 
and it should be, you know, uh, I wouldn't just take up that apostrophe with it. It does all that. And uh, the name of this uh, multiple pizza, this right here, this image right, name of this image right, I'm just going to copy that. I'll put that inside of the curly bracket is that one with it as well. And between, between the, after you need to close off this tag right here, is the left parentheses, so it needs a right parentheses right here with it, right? So, right, and then you hit an apostrophe with it, right? So, uh, let me see if I get everything right here. Wait, I'm missing another set of parentheses here. So, there you go. So, here we go. So, make sure you have matching blue curly brackets, green curly brackets. Inside of these, you have, this is your left, and it should pair up the right apostrophe. This one I highlighted should have should pick up this one with it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's not picking it up though with it as well. The dollar sign is a pointer and it allows me to actually use the syntax with the curly bracket is, is that curly bracket with it. Okay, hold on. I'm missing something here. Something's not right. Hold on. I, I, that's why I have to indent it and, and do this for a second. Hang on. This way, I can see it better how it's aligned. Hold on. So that curly bracket's this curly bracket. <clears throat> URL. This is what. Hang on. URL apostrophe. URL apostrophe left curly bracket. Right curly bracket. Curly bracket. sure they they are just helps if you they recognize with it because some of the curly brackets and apostrophe is not picking it up with it this one this one see when I highlight this left one this right one didn't highlight it, it really concerns me is that it doesn't see it hmm okay that is so strange hang on well, you know why? That's why. Because I only have one. I I I need to close this off. That's what this is, this is with it, right? The moment I close this off, it's going to have to close off the div tag. That's what that is. So this is what's missing. It's missing the closing of the div tag. My apology. So so if I did this. That would actually it should take care of those squiggly lines in here. So this div tag closes with this div tag with it, right? Hold on. Yeah, so so that way. Okay. So I just let me just bring it back to here with it. That way I you know I don't miss anything. Still has that squiggly line here. Kind of bothers me. Hang on. What am I missing here? Oh, yeah. It's this one right here. Duh. Okay. There you go. So it closes it off with this div tag. It's nested inside of this. That's what that is with it. Okay. So so that's that's how it's supposed to look, right? And you have the closing of your, of your div tag with it, right? And that's 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 so it's a nesting of the div tag inside of that. This is the t uh, this is the about top with it and make sure you have the this is this is nested inside of, of the about with it all right we need to come down and give it another set of rows sorry that took longer than i than I, than I looked at it with it so class name let's call this thing uh about uh but bottom okay down at the bottom and this is where we're going to put in some text here with it so i'm going to close that off with it and let's call this thing let's give this an h1 here H1, 
and let's give this thing about us like that okay and inside of this we need to do a paragraph of this thing right so you could open up your paragraph tag and we're gonna actually put in the content of it here with it in between here let me just let me tighten this up here okay so um, I'm gonna open up a web browser um, bring this in here and <clears throat> if you could see this uh, just go Google and your URL with it and you can say lim Limsum Generator lim lim Lipsum Generator anything like this with it so type in Lipsum.com for example I just typed in Lipsum Generator with it we just need some text as a placeholder with it as well so if you want to just grab like this paragraph I have right here with it you can highlight that or whatever you want to do with it that's fine um, just grab that one paragraph if you want two paragraph grab this this one you can change it by however you want to do this thing so uh, <clears throat> I just need some placeholder text that's what this is okay so let's move this out of the way and I want to paste this right here with it Whoop. and then I want to word wrap this thing so you could say Word wrap. View. Word wrap. Why won't it word wrap? Hold on. I'm just getting a lot of errors here. Hold on. Okay, something's not right here. Hold on. Okay. The reason why it's giving you all these um, red lines right here because I don't have it closing off of the proper tag with it. That's why it's so important for you to see and how you indent in some of the stuff. So this is nested, right? This one is this one for this div. This this ten uh, line ten closing the div is for line seven. This one is the closing of here, and I also need another pair. Put that all that inside of a of a div tag so I need to have another div tag outside of this at the same time with it so um, okay so let me let me mash up here hang on okay so I, I had to close off some tags here so I want you to take a look at this for me this is this is the the the, the fonts that I copy over from that website with it so it's just it's a placeholder with it so you're welcome to use as whatever you want to do with it but uh, I, I didn't have the, the proper closing for it. So this div right here, this div right here matches with this outer div right here. You see that? <clears throat> and, I, and, I, and this div right here, if you click on it, you can see the matching, should have the matching pair with it. So this one is the matching pair for this one, right? So make sure, take a look at this. This is what your uh, about page should look like right now with it. So look at it for a second. And I'm going to uh, pause the computer, uh, 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 end it right now. So this is the end of the about JavaScript, okay? So pause your, your computer and match it look like I have right here. Okay, so this concludes the, uh, I don't know what part is this. This is, yeah, for, for the... Um, for the for the about right now